I'm Jennifer Rem, News Talk and Entertainment Radio 610 WIOD. Jeez, how old is this thing? Where, where's Neil? News Talk Radio 610 WIOD presents The Best of Neil. Yeah, these are the same old tapes you're already tired of, but new ones are being made continuously. This might even be one of them. Don't bet on it. If you have this tape memorized, you can move your lips with Neil and pretend you have talent. So grab your script and a cigar and enjoy another Best of Neil on News Talk Radio 610 WIOD. <laughs> Coming next year, the King of Pop penetrates your hometown, touring to benefit the Cardinal Classy School for Wayward Boys. It's Michael Jackson. You know my good lady isn't picky. I've got a very appetite. Michael Jackson's benefit tour. Cause I'll any child. It don't matter if he's back or white. Michael Jackson. Yes, Michael performs all of his greatest hits from oldies with the Jackson Five. They're learning the ABCs. I'm getting down on my knees, removing the dumb gurus. ABC side of me, baby, you and me. That's right. From the timeless tunes of the Jackson Five to the classic solo work, Michael Jackson's benefit tour aims to please. The people are so One of the five lucky boys to receive backstage passes to hang out in Michael Jackson's dressing room. Michael Jackson's benefit tour. Um, hey, uh, uh, Michael. Yes, Bobby? <laughs> Is that your real skin color? Well, it, it's inside what counts, but I know a game that we can play to find out. And, and if you fly, you know, it's time to free Willy. Say, say, say what you want. the rousing finale as Michael sings the song he wrote for the children of the world with the Vienna Boys Choir backing him up. I don't like girls. I like male children. They are the ones who turn me on and hey, I hope they're willing. It's a choice I'm making. I might screw up great Michael Jackson classics. Ow. Like Billy's Jeans. Do you know how to tell time? And of course, Smooth Criminal. Yes, it's Michael Jackson's tour to benefit the Cardinal Clancy School for Wayward Boys. Get your tickets now. Boys under 10 admitted free when accompanied by no one. They're black, they're white. They're really, really tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're black, they're white. They're really, really tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're black, now, the reason I played white. that Michael Jackson thing at the beginning is on uh, June 14. Now, what day is that? That's like two weeks from yesterday. I do believe. Am I correct? Tomorrow's the 1st, uh, 8th, 15th, no, two weeks from today. What show is that on ABC? Is that 2020? It is ABC, ain't it? With Diane Sawyer? They're doing that Michael Jackson thing where she's, the king of pop is back, and it's going to be live and unexpurgated and yada, yada, yada. And I have a feeling that they're going to get, uh, knowing that bitch, she's going to get sucked in to letting him use uh, her program to, you know, just continue this ongoing rehabilitation of his career and uh, his image and all this other crap. And, oh, yes, Lisa Marie will probably be there sitting right in his lap and uh, singing Teddy Bear and all that other crap. I just uh, can't believe it. It's almost as nauseating as the fact that they called Luis Miguel Louis Miguel on an award show last night. Louis Miguel. That announcer, we're going to find out who the hell that announcer was for ABC. I don't know whether he was in Monte Carlo, whether he was like in a booth in uh, New York, where the hell he was. We're going to get his ass and fry it. Louis Miguel, who was so embarrassed by the whole thing, he came out and lip sank uh, El Dia Que which I thought was kind of uh, embarrassing as well. Almost as embarrassing as the schmutz on his puss. He still looked okay. Here's a lady in Kendall. Hello. 
Lady and Kendall. How can she be gone, George? Can she either be A, that stupid, or B, she's already gone? Okay, let's, um, let's just see what her problem was. Let's find out where she was calling from. Oh, it's a private number, and it cannot be uh, given out. The call was received May 31st, 1995 at 10, 1038. Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that. Well, what the hell was that all about, George? Do it again on, on two. Because I'm sure she had something important to say. She stayed on hold for 10 minutes, the lady in Kendall. And like most of these women, of course, Montel is probably yes, coming I'm on here. A I'm here. Well, what happened? I was cut off. Cut off by whom? I don't know if it was my phone or if it was your line. I think somebody's potching with our phones. But anyway, is what's going listen, on. Neil. Good morning. Good Buenos morning. Dias. Listen. Yes. Did Louis Miguel look gorgeous? Except for the hair on the puss. Yeah. Was he gorgeous? Yes, or he what? was. As a matter of <gasps> fact, he looked extraordinarily good oh. if he just shaved and stopped trying to be Mr. Macho. We accept him for what he is. Listen, your TV is better than mine. His eyes look blue last night. Is that correct? Aren't they green? Hazel. Hazel. God, he looked good. Anyway, I wanted to tell you. I'm one of the people that listened to Aaron at the beginning. Yes. But if I... Here we go. Here's the Aaron uh, Summers fan club starting to call no, in. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't put words in my mouth. Okay. I listen, and then as soon as she starts with the... Did you know that 30% of women... That's it. She uses the same numbers every day, yeah. and, and I do grow tired of it, so I do listen to about... And 98% of all teenagers are HIV positive. Don't forget that one, too. And, and I read in Car and Driver, blah, 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 but no, I, I she do She reads listen. Car and Driver? Well, you know, <laughs> Architectural Digest, that yeah. kind of thing. Uh, She's I driving do, I do listen for about 30 minutes or something, but I'll tell you, I usually turn it off if I make it to the 30 minutes. And let me ask you another question. Those numbers, are they coming, including all of Florida or only South Florida? Uh, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood, Dayton okay. Broward. Well, then it's BS. You know why? Because all her numbers, if at all, are up in Orlando. Every single time she starts breathing and making excuses. But that's, that's not what this is. This is just Dayton Broward. Well, it's, I'm telling you it's BS. Is it Arbitron? Yes. It's BS. No way in hell does she have six in South Florida. I'm sorry. No way in hell. Yeah. Doesn't work. You sound pretty positive about it. I've been in the radio business like you have, Neil. And right. No way. How did she all of a sudden grow this gigantic audience out of nowhere? Sounds like a fix is in here to me. That's what I'm I saying. I think there's a goddamn conspiracy going on here against all the rest of us. We're getting too big for our britches, so let's make the sex you know pitch the goddess. They're, you know what they're doing? The six points come in in the first 15 minutes when everybody, after it. Before everybody tunes out, yeah, that's what's happening. Well, most of our guys, after 15 minutes, squirt, squirt, it's all um, over uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, 15 minutes is too much. Right. Anyway, I love you, and I love Louis Miguel. Okay, Take thanks care. for calling back. Bye. See ya. Or did we call her back? I'm sorry. This is distorted, man. Why can't you hear that? Sounds great in here. Like I said, I think it sounds really good. It's the best of Neil Rogers. Hey, Neil. Dr. Laura has moved. Instead of playing at midnight, we've brought her nails on the blackboard advice to evenings. 8 p.m. on News Talk and Entertainment Radio, 610 W.I.O.D. Hello, I'm the general manager of this radio station. And today is Rosh Hashanah, the Jewish New Year. In an effort to celebrate religious diversity and promote goodwill toward other faiths, we've brought in a member of the Jewish community to offer our Jewish listeners a greeting for the new year. Hey, hey, happy new year! Hey, hey, that's it. Go home. Okay. Let's do uh, Cooper City. Hello. You want to know about Shavuos? Yes. I will put on my rabbinical voice. Okay. The holiday of Oy. Shavuos yes. commemorates when Hashem gave the Torah to Moshe, commonly known as Moses, Moishi, yeah. on Mount Sinai. Mm -hmm. And that is where the Jewish people get their book of fairy tales. Right. And that is why we celebrate Shavuos. Oy. Well, what do we do on Shavuos? Do we, like, eat some uh, good stuff? Ah, like uh, shul, do, daven. That's it? Who knows? Oh, how boring. Dance in circles. Uh-huh. You know. Uh, spin the dreidel. Yeah, you know. Spin the bottle. Rit ritual murder. When in doubt, spin it out. Yeah. Okay. All righty. Thanks for the good news. Goodbye, my And son. happy Shavuos.
What happened? Burn it! All right! Here's Sunrise. Hello. Sunrise. We're having real serious... Uh, they got the radio cranked up there, and they're sitting there with their phone by their pacemaker. Oh, Sunrise is having a little bit of a problem there, too. I'll be damned. The last number that called your line cannot be given out. This call was received on May 31 at 11 you still probably call me I know. A.M. I know that. Call this number. Enter one. Dummy. See if our lines are busy, which is unlikely, but then you'll have a whole bunch of others you can start calling. Hi. I'm sorry we weren't able to answer your call at the moment, but if you'd like to leave your name, number, and a brief message beep, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you. Boy, that's an awful slow beep. A little slow on the uptake, honey. And by the way, next time you call WIOD and you're not there, when we go to you, you stupid, idiotic bitch, you're going to have a serious problem. Like, all of a sudden, you're going to have, like, a fart attack. Don Shula, I f***ing oh. oh! But isn't that right, Bobby? No, she doesn't have it. That's not true at all. Don't you... You don't have a penis. It's an underdeveloped penis. That's what I was told when I was a small child. Uh, Bobby, isn't it a fact that it's really uh, your... You were told as a no. small child. You said that you were a hermaphrodite. I was told a lot of things when I was a small child. So were you lied to, Bobby? I don't think I was lied to about my past, no, not Did at all. you live your life in your early informative years as a woman? Yes. And it has totally, it has totally, my whole life. Yeah. How? <laughs> I, I have to wonder, I'm a very athletic person. I've always been a jeans and t-shirt type girl. I wonder when I put on clothes if I look like a dyke. I wonder if I, well, the way I wear my hair, people are going to think I'm a dyke. Yes! I wonder what people are thinking about me sometimes. I wonder how in the hell did I let this happen to me? You how could I ass. be so stupid? Okay. Well, I think uh, they did say penis in her. Geraldo said it a couple of times, and then the guy said it. That was good. That was one of the all-time great Geraldo shows. That was the hermaphrodite, and she didn't look close enough, and they got married, and guess what? Surprise! Let's do a lady in Miami. Hello. Neil. Yes, ma'am. You called me back, and I was at a crappy pace phone, and I get in the car, and I hear you trying to ring it back. And oh, my on. God. I'm sorry. I would never hang up on you. I just can't stand that slut. <laughs> That's who I wanted to talk about. All right. Um, How did I know that? Well, I'm the sales hole from Wellington that waved at you a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'm down here in Miami. Well, anyway, in, in Wellington, we don't get the signal at night. But on my way to Publix last night, I turned on the, the radio. And she's talking to people for more than five seconds. So I thought, well, this is pretty good. Then uh, you said she admitted she was a born again. No, no. Now, now the new deal is she's just... Last night, evidently, somebody uh, questioned her about that. She said, I'm not born again because I never lost him. Well... So in other words, she's a devout Christian. So you know what else she admitted? What's so that? I don't understand this. She admitted she had her period last night. Like, what is that? Oh, my God, and I'm sitting on this chair now? I'm sorry. I, know I thought Randy was back. I thought you were... I know you're eating your lunch. Oh, my God. Is that, is that her idea of I didn't think dirty? the Red Wings were till tomorrow night. Oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't believe it, Neil. She's talking about she had her... Who the hell cares? Is I that, know. Is that a turn-on? I, I is that a turn-on that some guy is listening who's all worked up to a lather and she's got to talk about she's having her period? Oh, I about had an accident in the car. I was that would be like your mother inviting you over to lunch and telling her that she's got a bladder uh, infection and she's wearing a Kotex because she can't control her bladder function. She, she is the worst, Neil. But you are the best, Neil. And I'd like to call my husband a douchebag. I'm sure he's in the car listening. Well, thanks for uh, calling me back because I really get very psychotic well, and paranoid. And I hope that payphone does a land off his business. Okay. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Boy, this sure, I'm glad this is New England clam chowder. Meaning what? Well, the Manhattan style is red. I just can't stand that slut. Have you earned your red wings? Oh, boy. Steve Eiserman would be proud. Let's go to a Tamarack. Hello? The last number that called your line cannot be given out. This call was received on May 31 at 12.02 p.m. Mm -hmm. To call this number, enter 1.
Boy, this chowder. Mm. Do you have any of this? The best in the world. The level of one's perception of O.J.'s guilt is directly proportionate to one's intelligence level. Therefore, O.J. will walk because the jury is stupid. Yeah, try walking out of this, jackass. I like this. If they all had an answering machine, we could make a whole show out of this. Oh! All right! See, that's a lot better than people painting the ass, uh, you know, well, we want something for free again. We want you to do a message on our machine. That's another freeloading bunch of crap. But when we can call return somebody, they got an answering machine and leave a nice little message like that, that's a lovely thing. I kind of like uh, am getting off on that. Or at least I think so. Or maybe it's just my shoes uh, smell bad. Boy, they really are rank today. Here's Margate. Hello. Steve Nickel. Hey, Steve. Have a nice life. Open line in, uh, that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, but he's not hanging up yet. The last number that called your line was 305-972-9027. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This call was received on May 31 at 12:19 p.m. Mm-hmm. To call this number, enter 1. <clears throat> Thank you for calling the Steve Nickel resident. <laughs> me and my wife, Erin Summers, cannot currently get to the phone right now, but if you leave a message, me or the passion bitch will return the call as soon as possible. Have a good day. Bottoms up, baby. That was cute. How long has he been working on that, I wonder? He's been working on it. Last time I saw him, he was down there in the corner with a couple of notes from my mailbox trying to uh, decipher them. It's the best of Neil Rogers. Well, all right, sports fans. 610 WIOD. It's the best of Neil Rogers. Edited for broadcast to Puritans and Fools. Floridians, dumb as dirt. There's a lady in Fort Lauderdale. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Hi. I'm a first-time caller. Hi, Neil. How are you? Not too good. Well, Not too good. Um, We're fighting the battle again here, ma'am, already. I just sat my ass down on a chair. We're already fighting the battle with a bunch of jackasses. Well, I'm fighting a battle. With a bunch so of I... people with a nine-year-old mentality, the WIOD audience. Go ahead. Well, um, I was fighting a battle this morning. I went to my bank to use my ATM card. Yeah. And um, it kept rejecting it. Yeah. And, and it's very aggravating. You're I went a reject? A, huh? I'm a reject. No, I went and, and got a new account on Tuesday. And they told me I could use my old ATM card to access my other account. And, I mean, I knew this was going to happen. Why are you telling But wait a minute. Why are you huh? telling me this? What, what is this all about? I don't get well, it. Well, what is it all about is because you said that you're, you, you wanted some interesting phone calls this morning. No, didn't I didn't you? say interesting. Well, what, what did you say? You wanted some, some kind of feedback? You wanted uh, people being aggravated? I'm upset. I'm aggravated. I never said I wanted I, people getting huh? aggravated. When did I say that? You're oh, hearing okay. things. I'm I hearing things? Why do I want people to get aggravated? People want me to get aggravated. That's okay, what they well, think the show is all about. Get I'm not going to get aggravated about me. your ATM card. What do I care yeah, about that? Because I can't use it anymore, and I'm aggravated. Well, what are you squealing about? What am I supposed to do about it? Go inside and jump up and down I and get did, up and get upset with them. Don't be such a pussy. Go in I'm there and jump up and down. Carry I on did. and I tell them to take this down. card and stick it where the moon don't shine. I did. Tell them to did. take the card and do a Linda Blair with it. Damn it. Damn it, it's okay, I'm glad you got out of your system, sweetheart. And no wonder they won't take your card, you foul mouth bitch. I'd go home and gargle with Clorox right now, you swill head. How do you like that? She says it's a bunch of bureaucratic bullshit, is what she said. And no wonder they won't take her ATM card. She's probably overdrawn about five grand anyway, and she's calling up here and squealing and carrying on. If she, if she really had a case, she'd be in there in a the bank right now. Who the hell are you kidding, honey? Deadbeat. And let me also say another thing. We're not never giving away nothing on this radio show again, ever. This to me, see, we got a program director whose, I, whose concept of what it is to talk to an audience and do what we do. He's, he's come up with this whole concept of, well, marketing, we got to do this and we got to have this to give away, et cetera. And I actually got sucked into that. And I can remember a period of time when once in a great while we give away some dolphin tickets on the show. And I was very adamant. I always said, I don't want to give away stuff on the air. I mean, unless it's something really great, I don't want to give away stuff on air and just talk to a bunch of snores. And that's what this whole radio station is basically degenerated into, is what do you got for us today? And like I said yesterday, I'm not interested in those people. All those snores can go somewhere else and get something for nothing. 
that's not my idea of doing a radio show, is hearing a bunch of people who otherwise wouldn't call you under any circumstances unless you had something for free. And they can kiss my fat ass, okay, and enjoy it. And be sure and use uh, protection. Fort Lauderdale, our uh, lonely uh, Broward call. Hello. Hi, Neil. Yes. You say with your uh, choice of sex, you don't like anal sex? Yeah, that's why I said. My choice of sex, I don't like anal sex, okay? You want me to draw you a diagram? Okay. Oh, he's still on there. Hey there, Neil. Yeah, he's still on there. How you doing? Huh? You got your finger out of it yet or what? Where are we going? To a beautiful uh, Perrine. Hello. Uh, Neil. Yes, sir. First time caller, long time listener. Uh-huh. Um, this is an old spy report. I would have called before, but I'm usually at work. Right. Okay. Uh, you don't deliver deli sandwiches, do you? Uh, no, sir. Okay. I, I, I'm an electrician. But uh, well, I, one night I got in my car after work, and uh, Passion Bones was on the uh, radio. Yes. And, exactly. And she had you down. Uh, I just can't stand that slut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, uh, she was, the topic was uh, sexual harassment in the workplace. Harassment, yeah. Uh-huh, and you may have heard this one already, but uh, she said, nobody knows better than I about sexual harassment in the workplace. Meaning what? Would you suppose she was referring to uh, you and Almighty God and maybe the morning show? You know, it's really fascinating to me the way that women look upon everything as being sexist, Okay. If she were a man doing exactly the same show, my comments wouldn't be any different. If she were a guy with a fake voice trying to be, uh, you know, real sexy and doing exactly the same thing, my comments wouldn't be a little at all different. But women, you know, they got this, uh, they got this bug up their ass or whatever else they got up there. And the problem is that, uh, you know, they're looking for a problem. They're looking, somebody is picking on me because I'm a woman. She gets that death threat on the fax the other day, and all of a sudden we got 75 Secret Service people here now. We got the whole goddamn militia has come out here to protect her every night. We get, like, during those couple of weeks when all the Cuban stuff was going on here, man, routinely we had people like, uh, you know, ready to knock the tear the building down here. Ah, don't worry about it. We'll tell them about it on Monday. Have a nice weekend and don't worry about it. That stuff, you know. <laughs> Women in the workplace, man, they got a whole different set of rules and a real crazy attitude. Well, They want to play with the big boys. They're going to have to beef up a little. That's all I can tell that bitch. Yeah, she needs to butch up because, yeah. uh, you know, the, the comments were... I think they were directed at uh, you and Phil. And, uh, but I would have, you know, called a lot sooner, but I work every day. But I do carry a radio and listen to your show. Yeah. And well, when the day comes that I have to put myself in her leak, that's the day that I'll uh, go to the light bulb. Uh, keep up the good work. Okay, pal. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye. But she doesn't listen to your shows anyway. It's interesting that, uh, you know, she came on the other night and right off the bat, before, from what I understand, her verbal foreplay was in response to that thing about her being a born-again Christian. Now, if she doesn't listen to the show, maybe a little birdie told her. Maybe she got a call from Lakeland. Or maybe the bird's agent, the one that keeps calling us every day, maybe he told her. Here's a... Now, what is that? Are you sure about that? Didn't I just... Am I losing my mind? Are you positive about that? Are you sure? Miami Lakes, hello. Good morning, Neil. Buenos dias. I called to thank you for the porno video. Yes? This is Jay. Don't say porno video. Oh, I'm sorry, adult video. Right, for adults. This is Jay, the one, I, the one that uh, called you and uh, asked for the request. Remember I asked you to say that uh, oh, I you love know what you I here? You know what I never played? I never played Asshole Schwarzenegger. Okay. Not even, no, that's not what I called no, it. No, but the other guy did. Don't be selfish. No, no I just wanted no, to make I, sure. No, I, listen. I, I wanted to make sure it was loaded. No, I, didn't, I, didn't, no, I asked if you would say, Jay, I love you. Remember I asked you for that? Yeah, what was and that you all said about? I got to have that or the video. Uh, yeah. I should have took the other one. Listen to this, Neil. You've got to hear this. I was watching a video at home. Yeah. Okay, my fiance wasn't due home for like another 20 minutes. Squirt, squirt. Yeah. Exactly. So guess what? who walks in the door when I'm watching the video? Well, so what's wrong with that? Oh, my God, Neil, I got caught and busted. Well, what, what do you mean busted? I got out watching the video. That should have been great. But, Neil... The timing was, should have been, unless, of course, it was a little too late. Squirt, it was, squirt. It was a little too late, Neil. Oh, no. Neil, that was the most embarrassing thing that had ever happened to me before. Yeah. And I just wanted to share that with you. And uh -huh. also, Neil... But how was it, though? It was pretty good. Yeah, how, I mean, it can't be bad. No, it was pretty good. Yeah. But, um... Probably better than her. Well... It was too late. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I want to know... I can hear Carol King singing, It's Too Late Now, yeah. Do me a favor. Too late, baby. Yeah, what do you want? You want a big kiss on the lips? Is that what you want? No, I want you, I want you to say, Jay, I love you. I love you, Jay. Listen. Um, I want your body, sweetheart. Oh, well, maybe. Listen, um, what about those Mike Tyson um, little shticks you have there? I think that's the most hilarious thing. Little what? Those, uh, Mike... You want a little shtick? She said you already, uh, you already had that one handled. I did. But can you imagine Oh, that? here's Adam just got back after costing that poor guy his job. Now, it wasn't Adam did it. Rick did it. So listen, Neil. Yeah. And after she, uh, you know, caught me with it and, you know, confronted me and everything, she ripped the video up. 
No. I, I, I'm what a, serious. What a bitch. I'm serious. We got into a, Why, fist, she, we got into a fist fight, She's Neil. jealous over a video? Yeah. Because it turned you on more than she does? Well, obviously. Squirt, squirt. Obviously. obviously. Yeah. Well, I'm sure that whoever was in that video, you know, probably was a lot hotter than she'll ever be. Unbelievable. Skanky bitch. Unbelievable. Anyway, okay, go find somebody good, pal. I guess that'll Mike tell you Tyson, everything Neil. you need to know. Okay. Mike Tyson, Mike. Okay, Jay. There's a guy who wants a date desperately. Anybody out there want to give him something? It's the best of Neil Rogers. Asshole! 610 WIOD. Playing tapes of Neil Rogers because there's a hockey game on satellite and Neil's busy. He's the biggest, baddest, brawniest rocker of all time, and he's not taking any prisoners. He's Axel Schwarzenegger. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. We got everything you want. We blow you all to hell. Axel Schwarzenegger, he's all pumped up and ready to rock. Take me down to Paradise City where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Or I'll stick a grenade launcher where the sun won't shine. It's military industrial strength rock and roll the way only Axel Schwarzenegger can tell it. You're one ugly mother John claude Van Damme is a f***y. Steven Seagal is a f*** it with a ponytail. The only reason I did a film with DeVito is because he could fuck my d*** standing up. It's Axel Schwarzenegger exclusively on Terminator CDs, records, and cassettes. If you don't buy this album, I'll be back. Did you ever get that Don Cherry call, by the way? <laughs> oh, my God. What a joke, you know? Just unbelievable. Some people that, uh, you know, feel that they want to orchestrate. They can't. They're kind of like impotent in their own lives, so they want to, like, put a finger into greatness. And quite frankly, I don't play that game. I keep all the fingers out of my uh, greatness. Here's uh, Miami. Hello. Neil. Yes, sir. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good, pally. Take you off the speaker, sorry. Yeah, much better. Yeah, well, same Fantastic. to you. Fantastic. This call's getting better every second. Well, it's all downhill from here. I bet. Trace Cosas, three things. First of all... Trace Cosas. Oh, yes. You see, don't sound... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a Julio. It's a Jewish Julio. You're a Juban? A Julio. Oh, a Juban. Yeah, well, same thing. Actually, I'm Jewish. Are you? You're not Cuban, are you? No, Jewish Irish. No, Jewish? seriously. You're Jewish what? Jewish Irish. No, you're not. Well, I know. Just Jewish. What's the other part? Uh, I can't talk about that part. Okay. Uh, it's, circums all, it's circumspect, though, isn't it? I, I didn't have any say in it. In fact, I faxed you that article on the circumcision thing where they're, where they're trying to grow, they have this thing where they grow it back. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, did you get that fact? It's called your gropa, your gropa, yeah. No, they put, they, they, I, I forget what it was because it was a week or so. It's I called Miracle go, Groin. It's called miracle, miracle Grow? Miracle Groin. No, it's a miracle if there's anything in, in the groin. But Yeah, no, I, I saw I, James Whitmore doing an infomercial on it last night. Yeah, speaking of last night, that girl, first of all, all these... Now, you're not going to go pick on Aaron, are you? Just... Very, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. No, don't hold back now. Come on. Very People rip briefly. the crap out of me, and they never hold back. Let it all loose, baby. Turn yeah. it loose. Uh, she, first of all, the callers, are, <laughs> some of them are so I obvious. Can't stand that slut. That stand, spandex slut? No. Spandex slut, yeah. She wears spandex during the show. Mandate. So she don't soil the uh, chair, yes? Well. I mean, for her to come on a year two nights ago and announce to the world that she was having her period, I mean, what kind of a disgusting, vulgar, grotesque thing is that? Well, it's like that thing in the meaning of life where they wanted to leave the restaurant because, oh, I'm having my period. I don't want to start bleeding all over the seats. Right. But, I mean... You have no no uh, idea how close you are to the uh, bone. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to... But anyway. Anyway, the callers are so obviously phony. They have these false voices, and she, she doesn't even realize it, and they're all talking nonsense. I know. Well, she My girlfriend just won't give me anal sex, Aaron. What am I going to do? Well, now, see, I would answer that real fast, like get a boyfriend would be the answer, you know. Well, that's fine. I mean, it hurts, but, you know, then, you know, pull out. It only hurts for a little while. Well, the train, you know, it yeah. works, pulls out a Roslyn. That that's the what they always tell the uh, conductor. Timmy Carter, he pulls out a, what is it, he pulls out a Roslyn at a... Okay, moving along. Okay. Don't start picking on our former presidents no, now. No, no. He's peanuts anyway. I have 14 reasons why number two. Peanuts. Yes? Thing with so, in other words, you like, you like her show a lot? I, I can't stand it. It's let's, horrible. Let's find out if I'm the only sour pussy. It makes me feel like it. Because I love wild stuff. I love having fun on the radio, which I used to up till the last couple of weeks. But uh, I, I just think sometimes you've got to have some concept of, you know, it's not just a, the whole world isn't just an audience for your radio show. It's con she's contrived. I mean, if it was real... No, now we're talking about... Forget about her. Now we're talking about Rick and Suds, oh. about the, uh, the bit this morning with that Rick guy. That, I mean, he, first of all... He, he asked Rick for help. He said, look, you know, I'm going to get in trouble. Take care then, of it. Then, then he calls me and my, wants somebody to call there and apologize, and then he'll get his job. I'm not going to get involved in this. Rick, Rick knew what he was doing when he gave out the number. He wanted people I to call. I wet my pants. He wanted people to call. I mean, just but let me ask you. 
when you gave out the number of that guy who called, you know, from the light bright or whatever that thing was. From the, want, from the what? The guy who called and hung up from the paint world or whatever that was. Yeah. Did you want people to call him when you gave out his number? No, they, they called here. Right, but then, then you gave out his number. Yeah. And did you want did you want people to call call him? I don't care what they do. I just gave it out because he's calling here and he's hanging up and playing games with the show. There's a different story. Those people never called here. Well, that's true. Those people don't even know who the hell this uh, this is all about. Well, yeah, if they did, maybe they wouldn't have fired him. Yeah, if if Rick would have gotten on there and explained to them it's a radio show and this is what we do and we do this payphone challenge and the guy was walking by and he picked up the phone and we're the ones who uh, you know kind of made this because at this point the guy's job is online okay in other words it's very funny up until the point when the guy's job is online it's not Rick's decision to make whether this is a good enough job for the guy or not you follow what I'm saying exactly if you got a job it could be the crappiest job in the world maybe it's convenient for you maybe for whatever reason maybe you like it maybe you're making stops like I said where there's some voluptuous uh, 90-year-old woman somewhere. Whatever the deal is, this is what he wants. I'm well, not going to sit here on the radio and play with people's lives. And even if he doesn't have a good boss, you, you, you could tell they're in the middle of the who, call. Let me ask you, who does? Me. Who does? Well, there you go. I, You're the one. I work for myself. I Well, there you go. That's the only good boss is yourself, and sometimes that ain't so great. I got people here, man. They want to take me on a plane trip to New Orleans. They want to give me some kind of phony award. Who, who wants that? I want to be treated here day in and day out. I want them to take care of business here and start listening to the people at work here and taking care of us and stop treating us like goddamn cargo, like baggage. Or the Sophia Loren defense, which is, I want to be alone. Sophia Please, Loren. Well, see... That's Sophia said. Loren said that? Yeah. She said, I've no, not Sophia to... Loren did not say that. Oh, Greta Garbo, you're right. Greta Garbo you're and right. May Vest. You're right. And May, May Vest. May, May, May she vest in peace. Okay, but pal, you in tell, closing? You could tell, in closing... You wound up like a goddamn... You're tighter than a drum. I know, Neil. I don't want you, you always hang up on me. In closing... Why is that? Why do I hang up on you? Um, I don't know, because I, I, I invite you places. You invite me to what? I don't know. I once invited you to a baseball game. It was horrible. But in closing... Jessica, I went to a I went to a baseball game with you. No, no, I wanted to invite you to a baseball For game. For what? Because because you wanted tickets is what. No, it no, was. I have tickets. I have great seats. I wouldn't went. go to a baseball game. A Marlins game. Woody said I went about it wrong. But in closing, who said? Woody. Pony Woody. Dale. Woody Graber. Woody Graber. Woody Graber said he went about it wrong. Woody, I'm going to tell you something. You got your own problems, man. You got your own uh, field to sow. Go sow it. Oh, my God. See what I mean about this whole day? They're all connected, man. It's like a little fraternity now. They're all connected. Whatever happened to my friend Dennis from the hockey games? Whatever happened to Rose? Whatever happened to the uh, Knott's Landing lady? Whatever happened to that goddamn, uh, what's her name, the, uh, Bonnie and Kendall? See, now we're really getting desperate. When I come on here, and I, like I said, Bonnie, uh, I was just kidding. Whatever happened to Gilbert? Oh, sorry. George just fell off the chair. That Gilbert, man. I just can't stand that slut. It's the best of Neil Rogers. Crime is mad as hell, and I'm not going to take this anymore. Thursday, it's past noon, George. So little Andy's in the hallway there, and I'm going to go down and take a leak and get a little something out of the machine instead of eating something really fattening. Just a little thing of M&M's. That's bad. But anyway, so I'm on the way downstairs, and Andy says, Oh, by the way, uh, would you have a problem doing a show on Sunday night with Mandich with uh, Den- Denise Potvin? Now, keep in mind, the sports crap show that we're doing, how long ago did he ask me to do that? At least uh, 10 days, right, that they asked me. In fact, they wanted me to do it last week, and I was out of town. So I said, well, any other time? He said, okay, about June 4th. I said, fine. Now, how many analysts do we need to talk about hockey on a sports crap show? They got their basketball guys. They got Bob Rubin, here's their general uh, all-around bald spot guy.